Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Morning Movie with Jamie. I'm Jamie. My lighting's weird. Who cares, right? No one cares. They don't want to see me. They really want to know about the movie. Uh, this one's a weird one because I'm doing Nemesis 1992. And I'm also going to do Nemesis 2 1995. And why is that? No reason really. No reason. Uh, Nemesis, Nemesis 1 is uh, literally like uh, wants to be... <sighs> This is just my opinion, so if someone in the comments might say I'm wrong, but this is how I got out of it. It's kind of like a Blade Runner-esque uh, action-packed. It's by Albert Pion, which I talked about before. What movie was I talking about before he did? I can't remember. But he's done tons. He's done uh, Cyborg with Jean-Claude Van Damme. He did the Captain America movie in 1990. He did one of my favorite Christopher Lambert movies, uh, which was uh, Adrenalin, Fear the Rush. Um, I like him. He's a low-budget director. He does a very good job. Um like I said before, this is called Nemesis. Uh, Oliver, I have to look his name. I think it's Oliver Gunner or Grunner. Let me look. Yeah, Oliver Gunner and Tim Tom, uh, Thomerson. Yeah, you'll see him. You can see him in the trailer here. A whole bunch of big time actors in this. Um, it's a good, fun, low budget action movie. And it's uh, very entertaining. And I like the story. So if you like Blade Runner type of movies with action, you know, low budget action movies where, you know, you're using real practical effects here because you have no choice. Most of it's in camera, you know, wire work and all that stuff. This is for you. All right. And uh, let's do a quick uh, video movie guy 2000 before I go to Nemesis 2. But like I said, this is recommended by me. I watch this. I, I, I watch this at least once a year, it seems like, because it's always on TV. And he's just like, oh, watch this. The year is 2027. An ex-LAPD detective must determine whether the humans or the cyborgs, 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 Jamie, uh, humans or the cyborgs are the enemy. Doesn't that sound familiar? A little bit of Blade Runner-ish. Uh, he has three days. I don't know why I'm yelling. He has three days to complete his mission or else the bomb in his heart will explode. Wow. A little bit of Blade Runner and a little bit of Escape from New York. Someone's been watching a lot of movies while they're writing scripts. Anyway, it's rated R for violence and profanity, the best stuff. Directed by Albert Pion, Oliver Gruner, Tim Thomerson. Uh, oh, yeah, that Carrie, I never say his name right, but it's Carrie Hiroyuki Tagawa. Gosh, he was in a lot of things like Rising Sun. He was in Danger Zone to Billy Zane. Not many people know that or even know that movie. Brian James is in it. Anyway, 1993. That's what year it came out. Nemesis, 1993. I thought it was 1992. I'm going to say 1992. I think they're wrong. Sorry, Video Movie Guy 2000. And they gave it two stars out of five. Now let's jump right into Nemesis 2. Has nothing to do with ne uh, Nemesis 1, by the way, but you'll see. Nemesis 2, now. And here we are. Nemesis 2's trailer is playing right now as we speak. And you can tell it looks totally different. Why? Well, as soon as I say that, it actually looks normal. But look at that. Oh, my Lord. There she is. No Oliver Gunner in this one. It's literally that girl. And she does a great job. I don't know if she's done anything else, but she's like, literally, you can tell she's obviously a bodybuilder. Um, does she, she uh, acting is, you know, it's like Arnold acting. Arnold, you know, you know, it's decent. You know, I believe her. she was believable. And this movie is so weird. It's like a post-apocalyptic now. It's no longer Blade Runner. Now it's more like, I don't know, what do you call it? More like Predator? In a desert? Post-apocalyptic? I don't know. But I watched this one time late, late at night. I watched a lot of movies late at night. And that's all this is. It's really just a chase film. Look at the stunts, though. Gosh, that's Albert Pion again. Anyway, if you watch my other reviews on it. Oh, you just watched This is the same one. I'm combining it. That's right. So this is Nemesis 2. And here's what Video Guide, Video Movie Guy 2000 says about Nemesis 2. Strictly low rent affair about a cyborg sent to kill a woman. Who holds the secret to save humanity. If this is our future, then humanity doesn't need no saving. I added the no just to be more dramatic. That's what they said in this book. Not very nice, is it? What'd they give it? A uh, turkey. And this came out in 1995. Directed by Albert Pion. I guess her name is Sue Price. I think she did a great job. And there's Tina, Tina Cote, Earl White, and Chad. I don't know these people. Not the point. Is the trailer playing again? Because I wanted to show. Yeah, I enjoyed this movie. I watched this. I'm just no. I know it sounds like a, a, a broken record, but again, I watched this at two like thirty in the morning. I know I had trouble sleeping. I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyway, I watched this movie at two thirty in the morning, and I sat 
and watched the whole thing, and I was enjoy. I I I had enjoyment. I had a great time. It was just action. She did a great job. I wish she was in more action movies. She was fun to watch. Look at her. See her jumping around on it. It's a silly problem. There's hardly any plot to it. Literally, uh, uh, they, you know, she's she has something or I think a some I don't know what to, to save humanity. And they're like, we don't want humanity saved because we're cyborgs. Screw you, humans, is what the cyborgs say. And, uh, yeah, so it's a silly plot. But I had a good time watching it. So even though they gave it a turkey, why am I still holding this book? I don't know. Why they gave it a turkey, I still recommend it. You know, it's on there on the apps for free. So watch Nemesis, and then right after that, while you still have that one crust of pizza, you know, one slice of pizza left, and everybody's getting ready to fight for it, Switch over to Nemesis 2. That'll distract them. And then you get that slice of pizza. Enjoy that pizza while watching Cyborg Battle. All right, everybody. Till next time. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the weekend. Bye-bye.